Karl Halalim, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rukakadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who well and who taught us the truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect that I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. Shalom to the very, very, very few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yahweh from the great millstone Chicago camp basically coming to you with another lesson. This lesson is concerning, uh, you know, it's basically a response, you know, my uh, skillful adding, a skillful adding, as the scriptures say, you know, to the, uh, the elder brother Ariel out in Dallas. You know, he had made a video about basically, you know, persecutions that he had to endure, as he says, being uh, being ostracized. All right. And um, it's basically being scoffed and mocked. And, you know, one thing he had said in this, tr in this truth that um, one thing he had said is this truth will never be cool. You know, it'll never be popular. And that's of the truth because we present our bodies as a living sacrifice. All right. We're making ourselves, we're mortifying the deeds of our flesh. You know, the scriptures call us pilgrims and sojourners in this place. You know, the scriptures teach us to abstain from fleshly lust, which war against our soul, and that's not what this world is about. So when you have a credibility or accountability, an accountability, all right, to, 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 and a responsibility to uphold yourself to the best of your ability, to the measure of faith that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai gave you, and all right, conduct yourself as a man of the Lord. This world is totally against it, man. You know, they, 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 they look at you crazy, man. And I've also, you know, been a brother with a, a, a multiple, a scoff saga, you know, of, of niggas who fell out, you know, making clown videos, you know, monkeys, you know, nigger women, all type of people, you know, coming up against me personally and the things I do and things like that. Because the, these people have no life, man. And they don't, a lot of them don't realize, well, they actually realize what it takes to be in this truth, man. And they envy it because they realize they don't have it, man. So they lash out at us, man. And a lot of these people are just jealous, you know. And um, it, it's what they do, you know. Nevertheless, matter of fact, let me start with this. This is Matthew, St. Matthew 18 and 7. It says, woe unto the world. And that woe is destruction. It says, woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. So these things are written that we will be... Um, persecuted, that we will be struck down, all right? The scriptures say that the servant is not greater than the master. You know, they struck it, how it shot down. You know, they called him a demon. You know, they called him all type of things, you know. They accused him of being a gluttonous and a wine buyer, but they called him that, man. You know, they was talking, those were niggas talking shit that, asked, that said that statement, you know? So they did all type of things. They even went to the point, they crucified him and, 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 and um, free the murderer, man, which shows you what our Lord, Yahweh Shah went through, so, and he said the service is not greater than his master, so we got to go through these things too, man, you know, like he told the disciples, you know, I think it was it was the two brothers, he said, uh, thou also shall drink of this cup, you know, we going to go through that life, man, and, uh, and they, they partook in that in that same type of death as Yahweh Shah, man, but as the scriptures say, precious is the death of the saints in the sight of the Lord, man. And precious is this persecution, man. Because woe to that. The scriptures say, uh, uh, hey, this is us being refined through the fire. And you got to be willing to go through that fire, man. And that's not cool. You know, you got to you gotta be like that old song goes, uh, Shaka Khan. Hey, through, through the fire, to the limit, to the wall. Hey, for the chance of the kingdom of heaven. Hey, we, we, we to be with that, we gladly risk it all. This is nothing, man. This is our labor of love. This is us coming into the law of our life, the law of life for heritage, man. The things that belong to us, man, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gave us, you know, throughout the generations, pursuing the Revelations 22 and 11, you know, but they on the other side, that other side of that verse, man, because they going to come back and scoff and be wicked. This is Isaiah 59 and verse 15. It says, for a matter of fact, I'm going to start at 13. It says, in transgress, Isaiah 59 and 13, in transgression and lying against Yahweh and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, you know, and that's niggas' favorite, you know, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. Because most of these things are, are just real and accusations, man. It's a straight wickedness, man, and falsehood that they speak against the brothers, you know. The brothers, the elders, the apostles, making BS videos about Apostle Ha. Possible bar, you know, brothers will reveal your personal inf with niggas, you know, that were once brothers will reveal your personal information, you know, just wickedness, man. It says, and judgment is turned away backwards, backward, and justice standeth afar off. 
for truth faileth in the street, and iniquity cannot enter. Yea, truth faileth and depart, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And Yahweh saw it and was displeased that there were no judgment. That's why the gospel says, Woe to those that cause offenses, man. All right? Because this is what you niggas are on, man. But he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. You know, the truth will not be cool, man. It'll not be popular. It'll not be trending in this society. This is Esau's society. This is his world. That's why when niggas come against us, man, hey, we keep it moving, man. Nigga might give you some shit at the job. Look, th this this they turn, man. You know, let, let them have that, man. You know, we, 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 the hopeful elect, you know, are, are going to have the last laugh. You how about you, how shall rot the We are the hopeful elect, but we're going to have the last laugh, man. And you niggas ain't going to get it, man. The scriptures say they're going to wake to um, everlasting shame and content, man. And that's all they striving for, man. Throwing rocks at the throne. This is uh, some peons, man. This is Second Peter 2 and verse 1. It says, for there were false teachers. Second Peter, the second chapter, the first verse. It says, um, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. And most of those scoffers are false teachers that was amongst us. You know, men that dropped the plow. You know, men that once ate with us at the table, brought in damnable heresies, you know. Realized, you know, that they, they want to go on a date, you know, every fucking week or once of a year, they want to go to the family picnic and all this BS when it's time to go out. Or they might want to get a hair lining. Or they might, you know, whatever it is that appeases their flesh, man. You know, they, they might not have what it takes to humble yourself, you know, before the throne. You know, hum, he who humbles himself should be exalted. He who exalts himself should be humble. You know, a lot of them didn't have the spirit to take the low. Or whatever the case may be that didn't, you know, please they, 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 they flesh, which, which caused them to fall out. You know, they, they, they couldn't take it. You know, a lot of guys realized they couldn't take it, man. But I'm gonna read. I'm gonna start again, man, because this it, this is deep, man. You know, and I'm speaking through the experience, man. This is uh First Peter. It's like a Second Peter two and one. It said, "But there should be false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you." The guys I was just mentioning. Who privately br shall bring in damnable hearsays, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bringing themselves swift upon themselves swift destruction. And we have seen people be swiftly destroyed, you know, for becoming scoffers, man. And the other ones say, man, how about Shimmy how about Shai? He just preserving them for the day of judgment, for the for the grand finale. Goddamn it! <laughs> it says um, this, this is going to be the grand finale, man. It says, and, and shall follow their pernicious way, and many, Salaki, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. That's why they got a big following. That's why they got that, the, the, a, a lot of views and shit. You know, because a nigga can relate. Niggas, people like, you know, like, 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 you know, the brother was saying, like, the elder brother was saying, this is just a world full of likes. This that social media minded world, you know, they want approval, you know. People like niggas talking shit. A lot of people can relate to niggas talking shit. You know, a lot of people can relate to niggas this rah-rah, argumentative-ass niggas, man. People can relate to that, man. People can relate to disrespect toward their elders. You know, disrespect to their brothers. You know, they look like them. They look like their father. You know, niggas can relate to shit like that, man. That's why they get a lot of likes and acceptability in this world, man. He was friends with the world. It's an enemy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Don't never forget that. Verse 2, it says, And many shall follow their pernicious ways by... The reason of of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So the truth shall be evil spoken of. All right. The truth is not going to be glamorous, man. The scripture speaker enter in the straight gate, man. It's only one way up. And that's through them hardships, man. That's why Ezra said it's like um, wood on this side and fire on this side. That, that one may go, that single line. You know, that's, that's one of the other yacht, you know. Brother Yaki, man, his favorites, man. He in the Chicago camp, man. That 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 single line, man. That's you know, I'm paraphrasing that scripture, but every time, you know, I relate their brother to that scripture, man. You know. But yeah, and I'm gonna get it here in the gospel. This is um Matthew, St. Matthew seven and verse fourteen. It says, Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth to life. Salaki. Salaki. Let me start up. 
verse 12, St. Matthew um, 7 and 12, it says, Therefore all things whatsoever ye would do, that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law of the prophets, man, and that's judgment and that's, and that's balance, man. All right, and it's righteousness. Verse 13, it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. That's S-T-R-A-I-T. The straights. Read, look it up. All right. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many, and many, those that had many, that it was talking about in the book of Second Peter, the second chapter, in the second verse. It says, And many there be which go thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth to life, and there be few that find it. All right, view, and that's what it is, man. You know, verse fifteen it says, "Beware of false prophets, which have come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorns or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And that's all you worry about, man, is a man and his fruits. You know that he's bearing. You know the work that he's doing." The, the production of that work, the brothers that he's waking up. You know, you don't worry about a man's personal life, man. That's between him and your Howard Shim, your Howard Shad, man. As long as he, you know, keeping it within the bounds of the scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments, your Howard Shim, your Howard Shad executing his lifestyle with judgment and balance, man. You throw that personal shit out the window, man. This is about the fruits that we bear, man. But the things that we do, you know, for your Howard Shim, your Howard Shad, ultimately for our salvation, you know. It's, it's not going to be looked at as cute in this world, man. To hell with this world, man. And that's what, exactly what this world going to. Thermonuclear destruction, you know. You know. Like, like the elder brother Uriah said, that's, you just want to operate in the bounds of the scriptures, man. And get the hell up out of this place, man. Hey, but with that being said, call halal you, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, and A double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, which rule well and taught us the truth. And to the hopeful elect, Shalom.